you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Hello and welcome. We're going to perform a brief demonstration on how to identify Layer 2 retransmits. And as we've learned in the RWTS 300, there are many factors that can play into them, such as RF interference, uh, low signal to noise ratio on clients, uh, adjacent channel interference from other APs, as well as even mismatch power. Uh, today we're going to take a look at an unleashed network to identify the retry percentages and then we're going to use Wireshark to further identify the retransmits and focus in on particular devices. So as you can see we are logged into my home wireless network. I am running an unleashed network and uh, I do have some layer 2 retransmits at least from uh, what what Unleashed is is reporting. So we can take a look and see that I've got three access points here. If we expand this out, uh, we can see that I've got two R510s and an R650. Um, we can also see my R650 looks like it has some poor clients. Um, and this is actually due to, so with, with COVID and, and virtual learning, my children have Chromebooks uh, and this system, uh, th this environment was not set up with Chromebooks being the least capable uh, client in mind. So those Chromebooks tend to show up as uh, poor connections. But uh, that's not what we're looking at today. What we want to look at today is layer two retransmissions. Uh, so if I'm going to actually select that particular AP and we're going to go over to show system information. If we scroll down to show system information, uh, we can look at our retransmissions for both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So we can see that 8.32 and 8.26 uh, respectively are what we have for uh, retry percentages. So typically once those retries get above 10% is when you might start seeing uh, noticeable issues uh, in your environment. But I want to actually take a look at uh, at what's going on. So I want to take a look at an actual packet capture stream to see if I can't figure out which clients are actually causing these retransmissions. So the first step in doing that is going to be to set up a capture stream from this AP so we can kind of filter down and take a look at what's going on. So here I am SSH'd into my AP. This is the uh, 650. Uh, at 192.168.1.33. So this is the AP that we were seeing those high tree, uh, retransmit levels on. Uh, so what I want to do first is run git wlan list. Uh, this is going to bring up a list of all of the networks that are currently being uh, broadcast by this particular AP. And we can see that they're broken up um, into a WLAN name um, and it shows the SSID on the right hand side for each of these. Um, so the WLAN 0 and WLAN 1 happen to be my 2.4 gigahertz uh, networks. So these two SSIDs are, are um, on 2.4 gigahertz and these three SSIDs are on 5 gigahertz. So we can see that we do have a 5 gig only um, WLAN listed here, WLAN 34. But uh, what we want to do is we want to start a capture. We were we were going to inter we were interested in focusing in on the 2.4 uh, retransmits. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a capture for WLAN 1. So I'm going to type set capture WLAN 1 stream, and you can see that the packet capture is going to go ahead and start. Uh, and and the, the command is okay. So at this point, uh, this AP is now streaming. Uh, the next step is going to be to open up Wireshark and connect into the remote interface. All right, so we have Wireshark open. We're going to go in, take a look at the uh, interface configuration. So we're going to click on Manage Interfaces here under the Input tab. We're going to go over to the Remote Interfaces tab. And you can see we don't have any current uh, remote interfaces. So if you were doing packet captures previously, you might have devices already in the list. But we need to add one, so we're going to go ahead and click the plus here. And it is the IP address of the AP that I started the stream from. So we're going to enter that and choose OK. It's going to go ahead and pull and find those remote interfaces for us and list out all of the various um, <clears throat> Ethernets and WLAN um, devices that we have on that AP. I'm going to go ahead and choose OK. We started the stream from the 2.4 gigahertz WLAN 
um, and it's going to bring them all in and we're going to go ahead and click start so right off the bat you can see that we are filtering or rather we are capturing everything uh, we can see the 80211 frames we can see the data frames um, you can actually set the stream to filter so if you only wanted to see management frames you could fan it filter it so that you only had management frames being sent uh, to the remote capture interface uh, we didn't do that we just went ahead and st are streaming everything and we're going to go ahead and do some filtering now so the first thing that we want to filter is based on wlan retries so let's see if we can throw in a filter here wlan.fc.retry equal equal one and hit enter so this should go ahead and filter it so that all we are seeing now is actual retransmits and you can see that we do have some retransmits showing here um, and we can verify that they're a retransmit if we just select any of them uh, we can see down here it's highlighted in blue um, if we if we expand that we can see that there's a frame control field and a flag and we can see that the retry flag is actually what is being shown here um, so additionally there are some things that don't have to do with our network in here so when we set this stream up to um, or when we set the capture up um, the AP is actually looking at anything it can hear not just my specific uh, not just my specific network so I'm actually going to append some additional uh, filter to this filter just so we can make sure that we're only seeing the stuff that I want to see with my network so we're gonna add uh, and and WLAN BSS ID equals and then this is the MAC address of the at the 2.4 gigahertz SSID that I want so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that additionally and it'll filter it back down and take out everything that isn't related to my particular SSID so that filter is now applied uh, we can still see a bunch of stuff here it looks like uh, just a few devices uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop the capture now just so we can kind of navigate this stuff without it trying to churn um, on my system here so I've stopped the capture everything we've got we've got filtered we can see a lot of this is this particular Apple device okay now that we've got this data we're going to take a look at it uh, from a statistics view so we're going to look at statistics io graph and we're going to pull up um, the line graph for this just so we can get a determination on how many actual um, packets we're dealing with and, and what this volume actually looks like so let me make this window all the way big and we can see here what this actually looked like so at the peak we were close to a hundred packets right so we said that there were mostly one there was mostly one client um, that was causing all of this but we're, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go and look at um, how we can kind of correlate what the client was doing versus what our what our average looks like from just an overall perspective so I'm actually going to add another view to this um, and I'm just gonna call it Apple device because we knew that that was an Apple device and uh, I need to go back here and take a look at the uh, address of this so this particular guy is oh, uh, he was 3 EFC I'm just gonna do a um, copy value all right and I'm gonna go back into my statistics filter so the filter that we're gonna create uh, let me t uh, let me say we've we've named it Apple device uh, FC uh, retry one we're on the BSS ID but then we're also specifying WLAN address so this is the address oops sorry this is the address of the Apple device that we were seeing I'm gonna make it a different color let's say red red sounds good right so let's go ahead and enable that and see how much of what we were seeing uh, in the overall packet uh, reach or overall retry count looks like in comparison with what just this particular device is doing oh boy yeah and we could even we could even change this so it could be a bar graph which would make it maybe stick out a little bit better so let me let me do a bar graph even and look at look at it comparatively so it looks like 
really, mostly, this Apple device is the cause of our layer two retransmits, at least from what we captured, uh, which it still didn't seem like it was very much. Um, but let's just let this finish out here. And yep, yep, it looks like this device was our, our primary um, cause for the retransmits that we captured. Uh, if there were additional clients, you could you could keep adding these. So if you were wanting to see other clients, you could you could put their barcodes on here too, or, or bar graphs on here as well. Uh, and you could just add more filters so you could get the data you want. You can save this stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this for now. Okay, so in this case, our retransmits are caused by this Apple device, at least in this spectrum on that on that particular um, WLAN. Uh, not really much of a concern. It's 802.11n, uh, so we know in, in 2.4 that we're going to have some retransmits. Um, it's not really that high, but if, if I were concerned or if it was very consistent or if we uh, had an issue with that phone's performance, we would do some things to increase that phone's uh, connectivity probably try to get it onto five gigahertz it is capable of doing that uh, so you know I, i'm at this point i'm not too concerned but de depending on what you're seeing in your environment you might need to take some additional action so that completes this one and we hope you stay tuned and join us for another one